Hello, Geminis. So last reading I did, I was getting that there's someone that's very immature that's trying to block your, your chariot, your true love, your abundance, your blessings that are meant to come in. Someone's trying to block that from you, but they're going to fail. They either, they probably already have failed. Um, this might have already wrapped up for you guys because I know that reading that I did, I think it was about like a month ago. Um, so for some of you, this person has already given up. I mean, you are protected and this person is very just very weak, very jealous, but this person might not be in your life anymore. This might have already been wrapped up for some of you. Well, let's see what the cards have to say. Let's see what you're at now. Um, you know, just whatever the story is. Could be most likely romantic, but could be something else as well. Just take it as it resonates. So let's just see what's going on in your life right now. Sense of belonging, home, safe space, true love, potential life partner. That's a good card to get. Stagnation, complacency, open, honest communication, message, could be a message coming through here, um, you know, a phone call, a text, a message on like Facebook, Instagram, social media. It's very mixed energy. It's like something that was kind of stagnant is it seems like it might be moving forward in the near future spying someone's been spying i think they've been thinking about sending this message and it looks like they're wanting to to do so now like they're summoning up the courage to be assertive to move forward to reach out to you sex and seduction Third party distraction, karmic partner. Confusion, uncertainty. So either you have a third party or they have a third party and it's causing some confusion. There might be a soul contract that one of you needs to wrap up things up with, with, with someone. There might be a soul contract that keeps repeating here that's kind of confusing you guys a little bit. I mean, kind of keeping you like maybe there's like a karmic partner that they're with that they need to wrap things up with like it's it's almost like you guys are soulmates like you're meant to be together but either you're in a karmic partnership and you need to wrap things up with this person so you can be with your actual true love your potential life partner or they're in a karmic partnership and they need to wrap it up it's almost like someone's learned the lesson already um, and they're just holding on to it because it's like familiar because they're used to it. So it's like their safe space. You know what I mean? Like it's become their, their idea of normal. So they're holding on to it, even though the lesson is, is over. Like they've learned the lesson, but they're, they're prolonging it. They're, they're holding on to this karmic partner, um, and causing themselves confusion because it's, it's over with them, even though it's familiar, but it's like this soul contract needs to be wrapped up so that they can be with you, with you, their potential life partner. Or like I said, it could be you. You could be with the third party and you need to wrap it up so that you can be with your true love instead of wasting time with a karmic partnership that's already, you know, completed its course. So the energy I'm getting here is that, and like I said, this could be either you or them, or it could even be both of you. Both of you might be in third party situations um, and have these soul contracts that you need to wrap up. But I'm, I'm getting here that the, your person is, is aware that you are their true love, that you are their potential life partner, that their home is with you. They feel safe with you. They feel at home with you. They feel like they belong with you. Like they know that. And yet they're stagnant and complacent. I feel like some of them are almost taking it for granted. Like they feel it's, it's such a paradox because it's like they feel so secure and so certain of you that they're almost too relaxed about it does that make sense it's like they're they just kind of take for granted that like you know in a month in a year in five years you're just you're gonna be there you're gonna end up together you guys will always come back to each other always find each other and i mean it's romantic it's it's nice that they feel that certainty but at the same time you don't really want to waste your life waiting you know what I mean? It's almost like they've gotten too confident about it. Like they're too secure with it. Cause it's like, they know this, but maybe they just feel like, there's almost like this sense that they have like a fear of commitment a little bit. So it's kind of like, 
you're almost their unicorn. Like you're you're almost this person that they dream about, this person that they just they know they know you're the one. They they know it's you, but it, it's like they self sabotage. Like they just kind of assume that you know they can do whatever and you'll you'll be there. And it's kind of their way of it's how do I explain it? It's just kind of their way of sabotaging things. It's like they love the idea of you. And they know that you are their person, but then like the reality of it scares them just how deep the, the relationship was before or how deep the relationship would be, how much uh, vulnerability it would, it would require from them, how much uh, it would require them to change to be the best version of themselves. So it's almost like they just like the fantasy. They like to dream about you. They like to tell themselves someday I'll be good enough for her or someday I'll be good enough for him. I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to do this and we'll come back together. It's like they just kind of hold on to that dream. Like that dream of you keeps them going, but it's like they're, they're not, they haven't been taking a lot of action. Um, I do feel like they're trying to work up the courage to send this message. So it does feel like they're wanting to message. And for this group of Gemini's I've been getting for a while that you're in this very seductive energy where you the world is kind of just your oyster and it has been for a while where it's like you're you're able to manifest what you want some of you might not realize it but you you are there like you've come further than than you realize some of you guys are still like healing like you've gotten so used to being alone and so used to having to do the shadow work that it's almost like you've overdone the shadow work does that make sense it's like some of you have gotten it's almost like you use some some of you. This is just a message for a select few of you. And if it's your message, you'll know. You'll resonate with it if it's for you. But some of you have just gotten, you're so independent and you're so used to being by yourself all the time that you almost use the shadow work as an excuse to self-sabotage. Like, like oh, I, I can't go out and meet new people yet. I have to do more healing. I need to do this. I need to do that. I have to perfect everything. I need to... I got to get my house organized. I got to, I got to, um, do my shadow work. I got to do my, you know, my journaling. I got to, I got to, everything has to be perfect before I can go out and date anybody. You know what I mean? It's almost like some of you are kind of like you've healed, like you're, you're okay. You know what I mean? Like we're always healing, like our entire lives, we're always going to be healing, but it's like some of you have already done like a lot of the major messy healing work. Like you've already come through the dark night of the soul. You've already experienced like a major psychic awakening. And it's like you're still holding on. It's almost like a thought form that, that you created or a thought form someone else created that you're kind of holding on to of like, you know, like it just never being the right timing. It's like you're always pushing love into the future. Like I have to do this. I have to do that. And then eventually love will manifest. But it just... It can't happen just yet. Or like you just don't believe that it could happen soon for you. You know what I mean? Like you always feel like it's going to have to take a long time for some reason. But the reality is you can meet someone tomorrow. You know, you, you, you could. It, it's, you know what I mean? Like there's not like a certain way that it has to be. So it's like don't, don't forget to live. You know what I mean? Like don't forget to go out and live your life and have fun and just live in the moment. You know, some of you are so focused on you know, your shadow work and, and healing and, and perfecting everything that it's almost become an obsession. And it's kind of saying like, you need to find a balance. You still need to have fun and live your life at the same time. Like it doesn't, there should be a healthy balance. You know what I mean? So go out and live again. But anyway, that's just for a few of you. But I am getting that like someone, it's like this person has this awareness that you are their person. And a lot of you have more than one potential life partner. I do want to say that for this group of Geminis. You have, like, at least a couple potential life partners is what I'm feeling. Like, you, you know, you just, you have that, it's just that time for you. Like, it's time for love. And if you're doing spell work or if you're doing, like, a vision board or, or whatever kind of manifestation you do, be really careful with your wording because I feel like some of you keep putting, keep using the word someday, a lot of you keep putting your manifestations into the future and they're always going to be in the future if you keep doing that. Does that make sense? Like if you're if you're lighting a candle to draw love and you're like you know someday I'm going to have a person that looks like this and they feel like this and they you know like you're visualizing them. 
But if you use the word someday, it's like it's always going to be someday. You know what I mean? Like you're putting that energy into, you know, I can't have it right now. I can't have it now. It it has to be, it's going to be someday. It'll come in eventually. So it's always just a little bit out of reach, like so close, but so far out of reach at the same time. Does that make sense? Or like a vision board. It's like you're like, you're looking at it and you're like, someday I'm going to have that eventually. Like I'm sure it's coming in, but don't do that because then you're putting it you're putting that energy in of it not being yours yet you know what I mean of it just being just a little bit out of reach like it's close but it's not there just yet like don't do that visualize and feel it as if you have it now in the present moment like when you do your love drawing candle visualize it and feel it like as if the person is standing there next to you while you're lighting the candle like they're holding you while you're lighting the candle like thank you that this person you know, word it differently too. Like, thank you that I have this person now. I'm in love. I'm happy. Like, thank you for this person. Like, thank you for, I'm glad that this person is mine now. I'm glad that this love is here for me now. You know, your vision board, like look at them and be like, I'm glad I just, I manifested him or I manifested her. I'm glad I'm in this healthy relationship now in the present moment, you know, put it in the present moment. Um, 11, 11 will be a sign for you that you're finally getting on the right track with that as well. So, um, so anyway, more than one potential life partner for a lot of you is what I'm feeling. I do feel like, let me see. Yeah. I just feel like there's a certain person that's been kind of stagnant. This honestly could be you that's been stagnant too. Like, you know it's out there and you know it's time to go out and live your life. But for most of you, I feel like this is probably like your person and it's like they just kind of take it for granted, but they are trying to work up the courage to send this message, to be honest, to be forward, to be open with you. I feel like a lot of them are spying on your social media. Like, they're kind of watching you. They're kind of, it's almost like they, they want to put you on hold. Like they know that you're their potential life partner, that you're their true love, but they kind of like keep tabs on you. Like they might ask mutual friends about you or they, you know, check your social media or message you, you know, here and there, they hit you up just to make sure you're not dating someone new. Like they just kind of like keep you in, like, you know, keep tabs on you, making sure that you're, that you're still gonna be theirs in the end. They are, they are working up their courage. It feels like, it feels like there's a, th a third party though that's seductive. And either this is a third party with you, someone that's kind of seduced you away from them, or this is their third party. And this third party has con caused confusion in this connect with this connection. I really feel like this third party situation though, like I feel like it, it's it's just like a soul contract and I almost feel like the soul contract has been completed for a lot of you but like someone's holding on either you're holding on to someone or your true love is holding on to, to a karmic one of you is holding one or both of you is holding on to a karmic connection and you guys are like twin flames or soulmates but you know soul contract it's like the soul contract is like ended is what I'm feeling you know, with, with them, with the karmic, with your, with your, per, with your karmic or what your person is with the karmic and you guys aren't together, whatever it is, it's like this soul contract though, with the karmic, whoever the karmic is, um, could be a couple karmics involved here, like I said, but this, the soul contract is like ending or it's wanting to end and be wrapped up, but someone's holding on to it and, and delaying it, you know, it could, it could also be you, you might be staying stuck in like a stagnant kind of situation and your true love is out there and you're kind of, you know, almost blocking your, your true love from coming in by holding on to this person that's not worthy. Or this is what your person is doing. They're blocking you from coming in because they're holding on to a karmic. But someone needs to let go of a karmic is basically what I'm getting here. Like it's, the, the soul contract's wrapped up. You know what I mean? Like this, this karmic situation wants to end. It wants to be over. And someone's just not willing to step out of their comfort zone. Someone's just not willing to take a, a risk and put themselves out there and go be with their true love instead. Um, what else here? Love offer, commitment. Mutual feelings, emotional depth. Taking it slow, pulling them in and getting to know each other. So it does look like you will be getting a love offer, like the feelings are mutual. 
I feel like they're gonna want to take it slow though like they're still gonna be it's gonna be unfamiliar for them or this could be you it could be unfamiliar for you but someone in this connection is going to want to take it slow because they're not going to be used to this they're gonna they might not be fully over the karmic I don't feel like a strong strong love for the karmic but I feel like it was like familiar you know what I mean like they were like comfortable together like they knew each other they were familiar even if it was toxic, it's like there's still this, they, they still have this codependency. You know what I mean? Maybe they had been together for a long time, even that's possible too. So you want to make sure like you're not, the, the feelings are there, they're mutual, but you also want to make sure that you're not like a rebound, you know? Like you're going to want to take this slow and kind of get to know them all over again. It's just kind of like a warning, like this is unfamiliar for this person. So if you rush things, it's especially with what they, whatever they just went through with the karmic, it's going to confuse them. It's going to make them uncertain. It's going to, it's going to be too much too soon. You know what I mean? Like it might make them panic. It might make them run. It might, con it might just confuse them further. It's like, it's, it's too unfamiliar. This connection that you guys have, it's going to be unfamiliar for both of you. Um, and this could be something that's coming in. So it could be a warning when this comes in, if this is going to happen, you know, if this happens unexpectedly, like overnight, it's kind of like a warning that, you know, maybe they do have some stuff that they're wrapping up, but, you know, they are going to want you, but you, you're going to have to take that slow. You're going to have to really get to know them. Don't rush things because if you do, it's just, it's going to, it's going to be too, this person isn't really willing to completely jump out of their comfort zone. Unfortunately, they do have some fears like some commitment fears. Um, they themselves might not, have, not even be fully aware of them. So it's like, just kind of go easy on them. Just kind of, you know, get to know them, kind of have fun, you know, clubs, parties, social life. Could be even be meeting this person at a club or a party. Choose a path. Choose your words wisely, planning their approach. Because it's like, okay, like, this person does love you. Don't get me wrong. Like, they do, they do love you. They do see a future with you. They do want you. They almost feel so secure about it that they almost take it for granted. But it's like, how do I explain it? It's like, they can fantasize about you and, and tell you that they love you a million times in their head. And you know, visualize a future with you, like imagine marrying you, think about what marriage with you would be like, think about what it would feel like if they left the karmic and were with you instead. Like they can, have, they can do all that in their head. But when it comes to like reality, like face to face, like hearing you say that you love them, that still might freak them out a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, like they might be going, they might be going at a fast pace in their head when it comes to your relationship, that doesn't mean that like in the physical that they're willing to go as fast as they're going in their head. Does that make sense? I'm sorry. I probably can, I probably word things in a strange way. I hope that makes sense. It's like, they're fantasizing about you. They're thinking about you a lot and you might feel that energy. Sometimes you might have dreams about it. You might pick up on it. Even if you guys are around each other, you might kind of feel them look at you like they, like they love you. Like you can just kind of tell, but that doesn't mean that like saying it out loud and like, having that commitment might, wouldn't freak them out. You know what I mean? Like they kind of want to go at their own pace. Um, and as long as they're moving, I would go for it, like take it slow. But like, as long as they, they should still be seeing you, like you guys just, they should be communicating with you. They should be hanging out with you. Even if they do need to go a little bit slow, like they need to be moving forward at least with you. Um, if there's just silence and it's like, no, it's not really worth it. Like if they're not talking, not worth it. But if you guys are hanging out, but they're just like, hey, like, like, let's let's go get coffee. Let's go out to dinner. But like, I'm not ready to, you know, rush into things or move in together anytime soon. But like, let's let's hang out. Let's get to know each other. Let's just take things slow. Let's not, you know what I mean? Like, just 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 meet them halfway. Be willing to compromise with each other is kind of what I'm what I'm saying here. Um But the feelings are there. The feeling, the feelings are there. I 
feel like a lot of them have code either you have codependency and mental instability you're getting through or they do they might have codependency addictions devil kind of energy mental instability that they're getting through so it's almost like the karmic is toxic but it's like familiar you know what i mean it's like 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 i said you're kind of their unicorn it's like they love to dream about you and fantasize about you but then like the reality of it like when they actually have you they're like oh my god like what if i lost this person what if just like like the walls close in and they panic you know what i mean like they overthink things yeah this hidden truth that they are actually vulnerable with you that they are actually open with you is going to come out i think i think you're going to see that vulnerability when you you might not expect it some of them their love language is buying you things some of you guys some of for some of you you two have different love languages so like for some of you like your love language is like i do i feel the different i feel the disconnect here yeah that makes sense okay for some of you like your love language is like um you know like cuddling in bed being romantic being vulnerable and for some of you your person is kind of scared of that stuff at least early on but they show you that they love you by like taking you to dinner or buying you things um like spending their time and money on you and for some of you it's like you're kind of like oh that's not really my thing but but like just know that that might be them showing you that they love you even if it's not your love language even if like you prefer words like you prefer hearing i love you or you prefer um you know cuddling in bed or whatever else like them taking you to dinner them you know surprising you with with a gift or with flowers like that might be their way of saying i love you so so keep that in mind too there might be some different love languages here and you guys might have to kind of learn to adapt um with each other so i hope that makes sense as well anger miscommunication publicity oops, publicity Social media, magic, intention, manifestation, power. Hmm. Some of them might misunderstand something on social media and actually message you because of it. That's what I'm getting here. All right, well, if this resonates, um, free, feel free to email me. My email is below if you'd like a private reading. I am going to be out of town, so make sure you email me first and, and find out where I'm at before you pay. Um, if it resonates, please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and my donation link is below in the, in the description box. Any donations are appreciated, so thank you guys. Um, and as far as, like, advice, you know, like I said, just meet each other halfway. Um, if they're not moving at all, I would say screw it. It's not worth it. But if they just need to move slowly, like kind of compromise with each other. Because I feel like this person, like you guys have different love languages and they also move slow and you move kind of fast. So you guys really need to meet each other halfway and compromise here. Um, and this karmic relationship, whatever it is, needs to be wrapped up, whether it's on their end or yours. I feel like that karmic connection is over and it just kind of needs to... Um, it needs to be cleared up, basically. It, it needs to be cleared up. And remember what I said, like, when you're manifesting this, word it as if it's happening in the present moment. Don't word it as if it's happening someday or in the future. Like, word it and feel it and visualize it as if it's here right now. That's what's going to cause it to manifest in the present moment. Remember to look for the number 1111. That will let you know that you're on the right track with, with this, with what we talked about in the video. So thank you guys for watching.